potential prosecution of the press for the disclosure of material. That is not something that um, I've ever been involved in, heard of, um, or would think would be a wise policy. That was embattled Attorney General Eric Holder during a Justice Department hearing that was on May 15th and almost a month of back and forth with House Republicans. Holder now has finally responded to their request for a further explanation of that testimony. Now, just yesterday, the chief law enforcement officer wrote a new letter maintaining that he didn't lie under oath despite the fact that we now know that he personally authorized the spying on Fox News' James Rosen. Now, the letter reads in part, quote, I do believe that a thorough investigation of the disclosure of classified information that threatened national security was necessary and appropriate. So now the attorney general thinks the investigation was necessary and appropriate only three weeks after he told the world that he felt, quote, remorse. Pretty interesting. Here with Reaction TV, radio talk show host, a Sean Compton's production host, Billy Cunningham and Fox News contributor Tamara Holder. It's not something I've been involved in. But he did sign the affidavit and says it's necessary and appropriate. Is that contradictory? No. It's contradictory for somebody who doesn't understand the law like yourself, Sean. Oh. But in order for me to give you Bill a Cunningham's a lawyer. Attorney General, State of Ohio, attorney for some 35 years, you are judicially challenged, and you're one of the stooges of the left that will always be there to excuse away criminal behavior. You suffer from Bob Beckelitis, which is an incurable, fatal condition of liberalism that has caused people like Eric Holder to be the consulary for President Barack Hussein Obama. Sign the petition, Tamara, to call for the resignation of the chief law enforcement officer of this nation because he lied under oath when he criminalized journalism, and you know he did it, but you refuse to do what's right. But I really hope that when you speak to a judge, you don't point your finger in the person's face the entire time by making your point. Are you a your judge? Your finger does not. Whose finger's your in point. my face right now? Mine, because I'm telling you to shut up. But anyway, Wait, I mean, you shut up, know your role, and shut your mouth. My role is yeah. a woman. Yeah. Well, tell me Wait, how. Okay, it's so not something that I've been involved in. Then he it, he signed the he signed the affidavit, said it was necessary and appropriate. How is that not contradictory? Well, because the issue is whether or not they were after Mr. Rosen, and just because he is looking into. The, the criminal conduct of what occurred it does not mean that he's going oh, after he told James the judge himself. Wait a minute, didn't he tell a judge? I signed many affidavits as an AG in the state of Ohio. You sign an affidavit under oath that that what I'm saying is there's accurate. When, when, he, when he signed the affidavit on the search warrant, he criminalized journalism. He said James Rosen is part of a criminal conspiracy. Whole conspiracy. That's what he did. Oh, he's part of a criminal conspiracy, which is a crime, right. a federal felony. And I agree that that, I think, Holder is... Holder accused Rosen of a felony. Now he's back off. No, he's not accused him. He said that he is looking for information to determine whether or not he is. Now, I, I do absolutely disagree with the fact that that statement, uh, that he was a possible co-conspirator, should have been in there and and uh, the Attorney General has a lot of explaining to do why he used that language because really this investigation which the Republicans have been very very uh, forceful on wanting to know where these leaks come from and why nobody's been prosecuted back in 2012 Lamar Smith um, a Republican he's the one who said the Justice Department has not taken the initiative to prosecute never the leaks an affidavit, of national Tamara. security he never, If you sign a false affidavit, you're lawyer enough to know that's perjury. But it's he not can go false. to jail for it, that. It is. He simply made a mistake. A big mistake. A mistake under oath. By, sta by saying that the person could be a co-conspirator. He wasn't lying about was, what was inside of the affidavit. He signed a false affidavit, and you know it. It was not. It was a. It was an error. He was. With it before and he, he was against it. It's an error. An error. Pete Rose made an error when he bet on baseball and lied to a federal judge. Clinton made an error when he had oral sex in the Oval Office and then before a federal judge lied about it. Holder makes a mistake by lying under oath to a federal judge, and you're sitting here equivocating and pontificating and as, if, as if he did nothing wrong. Get your finger out of my face. Get the fact that you know face. exactly what I'm all talking all about. All right, let me, let me jump in here. Um, this is not the first time. When Operation Fast and Furious, he was under oath, and he said he just heard about it in, in recent weeks, and then documents showed and proved that he knew it 10 months earlier. 
Did he lie under oath? He then? lied under oath that time. Sean, we have a serial liar. He's Tom Hagen to the Godfather. And everyone is acting as if, you know what? He's like the piano player in a horror house not knowing what's going on the second floor. He's just playing the tunes. I have no idea what's going on. Let's face it, Tamara. He is a stooge man for the radical left. What is your he's obsession lying. with stooges? Aren't stooges like little I'm sitting elves? next to you. I'm sitting next to you. Oh. And you're a liberal stooge and an, an excuse monger for the, oh. for the oh. Obama okay. administration. Never mind. I, um, well, do, is what, are there, you going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry. You're not going to cry? No, I'm not going to cry. All right, hang on. Let, I, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me jump in. When, when he testified that he only learned about Fast and Furious just in the last few weeks, and then documents proved that he knew about it nearly a year earlier, isn't that lying under oath? It depends on the extent to which he knew something. I think that he's being very he knew careful. It. His, his fingerprints were on it. I mean, it was his, he knew all about it. He, he didn't know the extent of it. He had heard of it, but it, no. he wasn't involved. And, and through the course of He admitted, of year, but he went back and admitted, after, but only after he got caught. No, I think that he didn't realize the, the severity of it. Just like, okay, just like in this situation, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. I am not crazy. What happens Tamar, to me if I lie I in the road? Well, what if he lies on it what? Wasn't, it wasn't You wouldn't even look at me anymore, were you? You he wouldn't I, even look at me. He identified Rosen Put the as handcuffs. a possible co-conspirator. And, and but, I think that that's wrong, that he shouldn't have said that, because clearly then he lied that about is... It. But that's not a lie. That's saying, uh, you know, we made not a mistake. Not something I've been involved we're not in. Looking, we're not looking to turn him into a co-conspirator. All, right. All of these investigations have been, how do we get the information to find out who is giving the right. leaks? How many false who is affidavits have you signed? For the, for the leaks? How many false affidavits have you signed to a federal court? Uh, I haven't signed any false affidavits. Well, but the, I attorney, stated, the attorney right. general has. Shake hands and make friends. I don't shake hands don't, with no. trolls. No. Oh. <laughs> Name-calling takes the place of reason. You started it. You began it. Don't you look at me you like that. You compared me to Bob Beckel. I think you're taking lessons from Michelle Malkin on how to call people names. All right, names. all right.